Earlier this season, the Kansas City Symphony performed Maurice Ravel's La Valse, which is just one of his greatest, most exciting pieces. The Rhapsody Espanol actually is similar in a way to La Valse in that it is an exploration of the dance music of a culture other than Ravel's. With La Valse, you had him exploring the Viennese waltz, and uh, but through the lens of his own personal experience through history. In Rhapsody Espanol, you have Ravel exploring the music of Spain and the Spanish culture, but again, through his own lens. Uh, Ravel was born in the Pyrenees Mountains to a Basque mother and a Swiss father. He, they moved to a town just outside of Paris not long after he was born, but he always was fascinated with the Spanish culture uh, through the stories that his mother would tell, the folk songs she would sing. Now, La Valse was composed after World War I. Uh, Rhapsody Espanol was composed about uh, seven years or so before the outbreak of World War I. And one of the really fascinating uh, bits about Rhapsody Espanol is the third movement is a habanera. And the, Ravel wrote this piece long before he wrote the other three movements. It was one of the first pieces that he ever composed in composition school. He wrote it for two pianos. And at the premiere of this piece, sitting in the audience was Claude Debussy who was fascinated by the piece, fascinated by the style, and Debussy took an interest in Spanish music as a result of Ravel. And the two were indelibly linked throughout the rest of their lives, the rest of their careers, and all the way through uh, the thread of music history. And while we associate them in many ways for their style of composition, for the time in which they lived, uh, they both used very similar musical tools to incredibly different effects.